And that's what happens when you drink coffee before you go to bed, children. Anyway, bonjour tout le monde, and yes, this video is in English, so don't worry. So today I'll be doing a look inspired by a design that I did back in my junior year of high school, so a little a little while ago there. And I don't really know where I came up with the idea, but I've always loved peacocks, so I guess that's where it came from. And so we'll be starting off with uh, plastilina, and I just made this mold on a table. It's probably best if you use a face cast to do this, because it makes it a lot easier. And I just made a beak shape, and this is technically half a beak, but we're rolling with it. All right, and so all I did was cover the beak in, or plastilina, in petroleum jelly, so that the liquid latex doesn't doesn't stick to it when we try to take it off later because that'll probably take a long time to get it off. And so here I'm just putting on the first layer and I ended up putting on about 11 layers maybe. You don't have to be that crazy and put on that many layers but I just wanted to make sure that it was nice and thick so it wasn't like drooping down when you put it on your face. Anyway, here it is finished, and as you can see, I already found a little portion where I can start kind of pulling it off the plastilina right there. And normally you would use setting powder to like take the liquid latex off of the mold, but I actually didn't have to do that, so I just pulled it off. Just be careful though, not to rip your prosthetic because that's like a nightmare. But anyway, here it is. I just cut off the excess and obviously me dancing to one of my tunes. Yeah, and then I put on some brown circle lenses and I looked a bit creepy. Anyway, I started fitting the beak to my face to find out where I wanted to put it and all that jazz. And just so the beak has a little bit more density and really doesn't start drooping when it's on my face, I put some cotton balls inside of the beak portion and I just put liquid latex and then I put the cotton balls on top of that. So I kind of used the liquid latex as like glue to put the cotton balls in. And then I just put liquid latex adhesive on my face and the beak and then put it on my face. And I was showing you that you don't have to tap the adhesive to make it work or let it dry or anything. You could just let it be or you can tap it. Either way it works. And then now using liquid latex to kind of conceal the edges so it's not just like an abrupt change even though you'll be able to see that change a little later on it's okay it'll be covered and here I'm just putting petroleum jelly on my eyebrows so I don't unintentionally wax my brows when I take the prosthetic off later and to build up the beak to make it more seamless with my upper nose area bridge I'm putting a cotton ball and then blending it into my face with liquid latex and then also with any of these products with the adhesive with the liquid latex you should really test out and make sure that you're not allergic to it by putting it on a part of your arm or your hand or something so after you have it on your face you're like oh my god <laughs> I'm allergic to this you know as you see a little bit closer up, so I'm just blending that in. Just be careful when you're near your eyeballs, please do not get liquid latex in your eyes. It's really probably not comfortable, which is also why, again, I really recommend using a face cast when you're making the prosthetic, so you can do all of this off of your face, and then all you have to do is just glue it on your face later on. It makes it a lot safer. Anyway, I'm just using a water-activated paint and putting it all over my eyeballs. This is obviously blue. And then I'm just setting it with a blue eyeshadow that looks exactly the same. And then here I'm just showing you that I was using reference pictures, which I also recommend. And I was starting off with that black shade and kind of skipping over my outer brow bone area. Because if you look closely at the peacock eye, you can see where the black areas are. And then here I'm putting a metallic um, sort of emerald green just above that black on my brow bone, the part that I skipped. And then bringing out just a bit. And then here putting a metallic blue shade, which is pretty much the same color as the water activated paint. And putting that on my very upper sort of onto my eyebrow area. And then I'm just painting the rest of my forehead. and then setting it with that same eyeshadow that I set my eyes with, along with other areas that I painted, aka underneath my eyes. And then here, the peacock has two lines going up onto its forehead, sort of back a bit, and so that's what I'm emulating. And 
And so I just kept going over those lines until they were opaque enough. And then I also set those lines with a white eyeshadow once they were as white as I wanted them to be. And then I just cleaned them up with that same larger synthetic brush. And then I just brought those white lines back into my hair because I just, I like the look. It kind of reminded me of Lovelace from Happy Feet, if you know what I'm talking about. Okay, I'll stop. Anyway, I just left that part underneath my eyes empty because peacocks also have white underneath their eyes. So I just painted the rest of my face with that same blue water activated paint. And then here I'm painting my beak <laughs> a sort of like grayish color. I just mixed brown and white and I got that color. And then, like I said, I'm going over that part that I skipped with white face paint. And then obviously clean it up because you want your lines to be sharp. And then I'm kind of just like shaping the inner corner to suit my human face. So it still emulated the peacock while looking like my face. That makes sense. As you can see here, you can see where that white came from. And then I'm also just bringing that blue down onto the beak because as you can see, the beak isn't just like a triangle shape. It has that inverted area where I just painted. And then here, just cleaning up those white stripes and extending them a bit onto my beak. Sounds so weird saying onto my beak. <laughs> I wish I had a beak, that'd be so cool. Anyway, here I'm just going in with black eyeshadow underneath that white portion, as you can see. But later on, I kind of ended up going over that black with um, that metallic blue, but you'll see in a moment. And then here, as you can see underneath the peacock's beak, there's like a green iridescent shade. And so that's what I'm doing by painting like my whole mouth and jaw area green. And then here going in with that metallic blue eyeshadow and just putting it in that area and mixing it in with that green sort of. And then putting that same shade onto my eyelid. And then now I'm using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean and pretty much I'm going to be smoking out my eyes a bit because there's black all around the peacock's eyes. So that's what I'm doing. And then I just brought it out and then now I'm smudging that out a bit. And then here I'm just putting that metallic blue shade on my under eyes because I want my under eyes to be fabulous as we all do. And then putting that same green metallic shade and mixing it in with that metallic blue. And then I'm putting that metallic blue on my temple area also. And then mixing in green, of course. It's, it's like a pattern. I'm going in with blue and then the green and mixing them. Because if you look at a peacock, pretty much your whole face is just an iridescent blue and green. It's, it's very beautiful. <laughs> and then I just put a black in a sort of V-shape on my forehead section. And mixed in blue and green metallic eyeshadows. I'm just showcasing that I put on some rather fabulous lashes. And then here, like I said earlier, I'm going to be going over that black because I decided to use the black for contour and then it looked weird just having black next to black without having any other dimension besides the contour. So I ended up putting metallic blue over that black portion. And then going back in with my NYX Jumbo Pencil and Black Bane, I'm putting that in my waterline. And then just putting mascara on my lower lash line. And then I'm just setting those stripes underneath my eyes with white eyeshadow. And also setting the other stripes. And then now, of course, we want to contour. So I'm just contouring my jaw just, just a bit. And I'm using black eyeshadow for that. 
And then here I'm using that same latex adhesive and just starting to put on the fabulousness. And I put on three feathers on my forehead, top of the nose section. And here, like I said earlier, I'm covering that little groove in my face with feathers. Isn't it fabulous? And it's best if you start with the back feathers and move forward because the back feathers are gonna be the ones that are underneath everything. So just a little tip. And then here I'm just painting the rest of my body pretty well, like my chest, with that blue water activated paint. And you know, things get a little weird when you're painting your body and your armpit. I guess I can be a part of the Blue Man group now. Anyway, I moved on to putting that same adhesive on my neck and I'm just putting on feathers. Because am I a peacock without fabulous feathers? I don't think so. But also a warning when you do this, things will get stuck to your hand. Yeah. And then because my contour wasn't dramatic enough, I decided to put feathers as my contour. Because, like, why not? I just wanted to be all the way fabulous. And then any other excess feathers that I had, I put in my hair. And then now I'm just using a black liquid lipstick and doing a sort of like Joker-esque pointed mouth looking thing to just add on the creepiness. Cause I was kind of going for like that exotic peacock look but also creepy at the same time. And then right after this, I just used a blue highlighter and highlighted my collarbones, my cheekbones, my temples, pretty much everywhere, the usual. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed the video because I had a lot of fun doing this, even though it might have taken me six hours to do. Anyway, yep, I hope you guys liked it. Okay, enjoy the outro. Bye.